Hey, thank you for checking me out. It's me, Tasha, the owner of the House of Glam. I am a traveling stylist, mobile uh, wig artist, and I have dreams to actually turn my RV into a mobile wig salon and spa. Actually, it was the RV that I did not have at the time. It was a thought to just transform it into something that I could actually have available for my clients and it was a one-on-one -on -one private setting and I gave myself a 12-month deadline to find complete renovate and actually have it into fruition I didn't know how I was gonna get this done but I had to start somewhere I enrolled in school at hair design Institute and I absolutely loved the whole process of doing hair color but what I fell in love with the most was the color I used those skills that I learned there to apply towards my wig making skills and I was just totally amazed I you know the idea came you know maybe I should do something where I could take my artistry on road on the road and that's exactly what I did I bought my first fifth wheel RV and I got started immediately changing painting ripping things down tearing things out and although no one understood why i was doing all of our, uh, what i was doing i purchased the rv just to renovate it um but i knew i had a goal a mission um i wanted to be able to actually travel to my clients and having the fifth wheel was nice it was a good run it was not what I needed so as much as I loved it I had to sell it um, because I had to make room for what I really truly needed I just knew in my heart that one day I would have it I prayed I fast um, I saved the money from the sale and I just tried to do everything I could to get myself in alignment with what the purpose and the call of my life was um, Unfortunately, I had a temporary setback. I had got expelled from school, but that's another story, another vlog, and I'll talk to you later about that. But I just kind of stayed focused on my plan, my vision, my goal, my my love, which was art. I mean, for the arts, which was actually making wigs and color. So I basically did. I started back making wigs in the front room just to kind of you know stay up on my skills and everywhere I went I saw a sign a sign a sign so I started to dream and visualize again I started seeing myself with a class C RV not necessarily a class C RV but I know I wanted a motorhome coach um, but nothing was really working at the time I, I continued to push myself outside of my comfort zone doing things that I necessarily would not do I came across a book it was called the four agreements by far it was like one of the best reads reads I had ever picked up it helped me to start being impeccable with my words which is one of the four agreements and knowing exactly what I wanted was helping me to be clear about what I needed out of my next venture so I started traveling started you know basically visualizing seeing myself and then I came across a class CRV um, I kind of fell in love with how small it was and compact. I actually made a post on my social media and I said, you know, I was going to have this and I didn't know at the time how they were out of my price range, but true enough and true indeed, I got one June 2017 and I thought it was like, ah, oh, I had arrived. Although there were, um, it was kind of dated. I knew everything that I saw was not going to stay the same everything worked and that's the most important thing it was a total um it had water hot water cold water everything in there was working um i just knew the cosmetics portion of it was not where i wanted it to be or what i needed to be and i needed everything to be gone i was getting quotes from men thirteen hundred dollars to do what you see me doing right now thirteen hundred dollars I was just not about to pay someone $1,300 to do something that I felt that I could do myself and I did and through this whole process I tell you I have been taught my strengths and my weaknesses 
have not been as many as I thought they were, but definitely I knew that I could do it. I was more capable um, because I had the desire the that I wanted it to get done and I continued to work every single day by myself no help and at one point you're gonna see my husband walk in see what I needed done, and he walked back out but I didn't care I didn't care it was my vision my goal and I wanted to work I worked day and night working to get this RV like the demolition done um, I started demolition I want to say about the end of June early part of July it wasn't completely done until about August yeah about August because we took some time off um, of just doing anything in the RV and I had no clue what I had unveiled I had copper lining I had gas lining I had electrical wires hanging out everywhere and I, it did not scare me I knew my glam studio was on the way and if you continue to watch and take a ride with me on this journey I'll show you exactly my ins and outs how I came to the point that I am now um, although it looks nothing like the stock photo and how it did when I first got it I just knew that I could get it done um, you can follow me on Instagram at the house of glam or Facebook the same um, it's going to be the House of Glam, or you would actually find it under T Naughty, T Naughty Wigs. Please check me out there because I want to connect.